So we've been doing this now for a couple of months, since the beginning of January, and it's great that the response has been good, that people have found this um, different and interesting, which is cool because I cringe, to be honest. Actually, I'm in trouble already because I've done another video with it vertical on your phone and Thomas is trying to train me or say can you please make my life easier of doing something useful which is trying to do my videos horizontal so I'm going to have to stop this and start it again because he's just been explaining to me for the last hour don't do your videos vertical <laughs> and I've just started this vertical and the dog's barking at the door to be let in so I'm going to have to start this again Right, we're back here. Take two. So I was saying we've had a great response, which is super, because I do cringe when I watch these back, because um, it's always horrid listening, watching yourself, trying to talk about something. Um, and so, which is great. That was the whole idea of doing this, to think that we can just show people into... Um, a bit of reality, a little bit of training to try and help um, inspire some people, you know, at this bad time in lockdown to have some ideas of being stuck at home by ourselves in our school. But obviously try and give you an insight to how we think about things, how our whole team works towards trying to get the best out of what we're trying to do. Um, it's always pretty difficult. We are fairly flat out. Everyone is, um, who works and lives with horses, let alone we try and be a mum and life and all the rest of it. So I'm just very glad that people have responded in a positive way to hopefully a bit of normality that you've been able to capture from this but this week really we haven't got any video for that reason there are going to be some times that um thomas bless him has been mainly in charge of homeschooling which i'm sure many of you can relate to some of you can't and you're quite fortunate i don't think parents will put on this planet to try and um teach your own ch child to read and write to be honest but um He's doing amazing, but there's light at the end of the tunnel for many, many of us in lots of different ways. And going back to school will hopefully be, for us, a massive thing, I think, for the little ones to be able to get back with their mates and go and rag someone around and be ragged around themselves will be fantastic. And we've also got the green light of eventing a bit and life, the sun's come out, there is a bit more of a plan for us. There is hope for all of us and some, just some sort of plan, some sort of goal that we can now start thinking there is something to work for. Albeit we're always trying to make our horses better, us better. It's so much easier to think there is a goal to work back on. And that's what we'll be doing sort of next week. I was gonna start talking about plans for the season, if we get a list out that's a genuine list that we can then start to make a positive plan, I I, I kind of leave it till late notice when there is actually a final plan. This is definitely happening. Otherwise, you're forever getting your hopes up, down, or try to ring all owners and get plans going of we're going to go here and then suddenly we're not allowed to and you've got to go back and it's all a bit of disappointment. So we're keeping training that... We are getting going at the end of March, the middle of March, badminton is happening, but at the same time, we'll just take each step as it comes and just keep in your own little bubble to then think, okay, when a list is finally out, we can then start making realistic plans for where each horse is at with their stage of fitness, with, with what the main aim is for the year and then work back from that. Try not to panic. We're all excited to get back out, to see people, to do things, 
keep realistic, know where you're at to at with your horse, work backwards from if they've got a three day plan. We can all fall into the trap of extant, we're all gonna go, let's all go out and event like event like crazy. Stay, you know, professional with, with where ho each horse is at. Is it is it fit enough? Is it ready to go? Rather than thinking you've just got to because you start. So that's what I'm very clear on. Badminton is the aim. They seem pretty confident that that's going to go ahead. So I've got two horses that I'm hoping to enter, providing we get the spring that we want to. I'd have two horses in the lineup for that. Um, Veneer Kamira and Brookfield Innocent. So two lovely horses. It's very exciting to feel that you could try and prepare for that. But at the same time, I am very open-minded. We always have a plan A, but we've always got to be prepared to go to plan B, plan C. And if we don't get the runs, the right amount of runs for each horse or the preparation isn't as right, then you can sometimes go to plan B or C or whatever. But at the moment, with that hopefully being up and running, which is great for the sport, great for the world, you know, to think that we can start moving again is fantastic. And so that would be the main plan. It's not far away now. I think I said on my yard walk around that we're very lucky, very grateful. And I think it's very important for elite riders to be able to start early enough for badminton runners to be able to start early enough. It's it's a key point for the safety of our sport, for the for the um for the right thing for horses to be able to have the correct amount of runs to be ready and prepared for an event like badminton. It comes early enough every year anyway on a normal year. And I think it's very important that they do they and riders are able to have enough prep runs to feel that they've prepared for something as big as that for the welfare of horses and riders as well. So we're all very grateful for the for those couple of weeks earlier on of some training competitions or just a couple of runs to get them going a little bit earlier is is great news. How wonderful is this weather? At last the sun shines and it warms up. And here is my arena which is the best office in the world on days like today and you can see I've just put some poles up the middle of the school just so they ride now a 20 by 60 arena which is just really what I've been doing this week starting to ride corners it's quite easy when you've got a nice big spacious space to ride that you're always sort of cantering around drifting around in big circles so it's quite cool to start getting into a into a dressage arena size and Jeffrey is here and Lurch oh god everybody loves the sunshine and even Maxi, who's not here right now, has his play area. Oh, he's been out here while I've been riding in the school today. That is a volcano for the dinosaurs, obviously. He's been having great fun. We all love a bit of sunshine. As I've said before, always my favourite time of day to come for a, a pony check. Hi, gorgeous girl. Are you alright? Um, where most of them... Oh, they are in bed snoozing. Hello, my darling. Oh, God. She says I'm having a snooze. So they've kind of... We've upped a bit of work this week. Really, now we've got... We've got going a bit more and started building a, a jumping course at home and having more flat work. 
more flat work sessions. And they all had quite a, a proper work yesterday. So today with the weather being as lovely as it is, here we go. Oh, Puff Puff, you're snoozing too. You don't have to get up because I haven't got any food. So you can stay resting. And they've been working hard, a little bit harder this week. So today with the weather as it is, I actually just had a walk out this morning and all been hand grazing this afternoon and have a good groom out in the sun, get some sun on their backs and... All right, Neville. siesta time aren't you all boys it's just nice to see everyone peaceful and we're lucky that we're just about able to start to start to move about a little bit more um, which is great especially for badminton having the green light which is very exciting news and eventing it's Brookfield Innocent he's just come to say hello eventing definitely happening or badminton definitely happening and British eventing try, trying to do what they can to enable us all to get some runs before we get going because I'm sure most of us don't really want to feel that we're going to badminton on the back of 1OI or something because that's not the safest thing I don't think for the sport so it'll be really handy the fact they have set some events to start middle of March I know it's probably boring for some that just the elite riders can go for the first two weeks before other people but I think with badminton happening as early as it done. It's a very good reason for the safety of the sport. I think that we can start for ourselves getting our eyes in. It has been a long time since October that we've been galloping around flat out at solid fences. So it will be a good job really that we can all get going and get our eyes in and get some get some match practice and hopefully get sport back on its way. It's so lovely. Everywhere we look from up here, the views are incredible, which obviously you start to appreciate a lot more, a lot more when it's not minus 10 and blowing a gale or pissing with sideways rain. These guys out here now have a little sunbathe out here, which is, I can't zoom in, have I? Zoom in. Everybody's snoozing. Good boys, aren't you darling? Got a lovely stable in the sunshine when the sun shines, haven't you, darling? Good boy. I'm going to try to turn this thing off for the last 10 seconds and it doesn't seem to be working, so Thomas might have to do some editing. Stop. 